So I thought I'd share a little story with you today about a client of ours who is employed and we'll call him Jim for the uh, example that we're going to talk about here today. So Jim is faced with a mortgage renewal. His mortgage is coming up this year. As a matter of fact, it's within three to four months from now. And uh, Jim contacted us because he wants to shop the market and see what's available to him, but also has a really good competitive offer from his current lender regarding his current mortgage renewal. So uh, Jim's current balance is around $245,000. But in the call that we had with him, he revealed that he's got a, uh, a substantial amount of debt. He's got, he owes CRA uh, because Jim is self-employed. So he, he hasn't been remitting his taxes properly over the last couple of years. So Jim owes the CRA $30,000, okay? Jim also has a personal line of credit that has an outstanding balance of $22,000. And uh, on top of that, Jim also has a car loan every month. The car loan is $615. He's got about eight or nine months remaining. Wasn't really sure on how much uh, time was remaining, but he knew it was going to be around eight or nine months remaining. So the discussion with Jim quickly went from shopping the market for an aggressive, uh, deeply discounted rate to, well, hey, wait a second, you owe CRA taxes. And that's going to be a problem. Because Jim is self-employed, we need to provide two years of tax paperwork, T1s, NOAs, and a statement of account showing that he doesn't owe CRA. Well, Jim owes CRA, he owes $30,000, and we cannot refinance that debt in a traditional lending aspect. So what we proposed to Jim was to do the following. Take a one-year term. Yes, the rate's going to be higher. It's going to be around 7%, maybe a little bit lower. For this example, we're going to use 7%. Take a one-year term at a 7% interest rate and bump the amortization up to 30 years to help with the cash flow every month. Why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this so that Jim can pay off CRA. Jim can pay off that unsecured line of credit for $22,000. We can also get rid of the car loan every month because the interest has already been paid for that long ago and cash flow right now is most important. So we're going to free up that $615 a month. But another reason we're doing this is because Jim also needs to allocate $2,000 every month for the current tax year that he's in, right? Because Jim is self-employed. He needs to allocate those, those funds, that money, to be able to make good on the CRA payments for the next tax year, for the 2024 tax year when he files next year. So here are those numbers. Keep the status quo, the mortgage renewal at uh, $1,470 a month the $300 a month in property taxes, $350 a month in a maintenance fee, $615 for the car payment, uh, $2,500 a month for CRA outstanding debt uh, payment, like a repayment schedule, uh, $2,000 to be remitted for the current tax year, and about $500 a month for that line of credit that's going to predominantly going to interest only. So that leaves a monthly payment of $7,735 approximately. So if we take Jim to an alternative lender for a one-year term, <clears throat> and it's assumed that the rate is around the 7% mark. Now, some alternative lenders are lower, but we're just using this as a benchmark number to show a side-by-side -side comparison. And if we bump that mortgage up to 30 years to help with the cash flow per month, that puts the... Uh, the current mortgage balance at 310000 So that's going to pay out those debts and leave a little bit of extra cash for Jim to use for legal fees, for the lender fee, for the broker fee, and to be able to have some cash on hand. The $300 taxes and maintenance and $350 maintenance fees are going to stay the same. Those are not going away, but the car loan's gone. The CRA repayment is now gone because we can refinance a CRA outstanding debt uh, with an alternative lender. You can't do that at a bank, but you can certainly do it at an alternative lender. And the $2,000 is going to remain for this tax year because that's uh, Jim being back on track with paying CRA. And the line of credit is being paid to zero, so there's no payment there. So that monthly payment is now $1,690 approximately. So this means that Jim is now going to have a positive cash flow of $3,043 every month. And why is that? Well, because now CRA is paid out. $2,500 a month just going to CRA is very aggressive, but that's what Jim wanted to do. Jim wanted to pay it every month to be gone in the year, the next year, and not be behind for the following year. So 
I mean, the car loan is going to be paid out because the interest is already paid up front on that loan long ago. You've already paid for the interest. You've got eight or nine more payments left on the car. Yes, it's only principal remaining. However, the cash flow component here is what's key. So why does this make sense for Jim? Well, as we anticipate rates in the future coming down, maybe not in the next six months, but maybe the next 12 to 24 months, rates will continue to slowly come down. This is actually a pretty good play for Jim. Jim gets to get caught up with CRA, pay out some debts that's been, uh, that have been troubling him and keeping him up at night. And we can put him into a one-year alternative mortgage that in the end of the one-year term, we can take him back over to the prime side, whether that's a big bank or a big mortgage broker lender. And Jim could then look at maybe a longer term at a potentially lower rate at that time. So this is why this might actually make sense for Jim to do. Even though it's a higher rate for the shorter term, it's going to relieve some debt. It's going to relieve a lot of stress. It's going to continue to, uh, Jim's going to continue to be able to build his business as we come back out of this recession that we seem to be in. And then we could revisit the mortgage uh, scenario in another year's time. So if this is you, if you're a sole proprietor and your mortgage is coming up for renewal this year, just know that there are options. It doesn't have to be a long-term option. It can be a short-term option. Yes, there are costs associated with an alternative mortgage, but if you look at the overall picture that you might be facing, you might actually be better off looking at what the options are out in the market for you. And then it just comes down to the plan. What is the plan? It's so important to have a plan moving forward. So I uh, hope you found this valuable. Hope this kind of made you think a little bit. If you are self-employed and you want to talk about your mortgage renewal or current debts that you might have, reach out to me. You can send me a private message or DM me or just email me, rob at therobcamel.com. Would love to help you out. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.